Hello everyone. Here we are again in the middle of all of this desolation. But take a look at that. So this was the old Grand Canyon airstrip and it was built in 1927 and carried on operating till the early 1960s when it was closed and the new Grand Canyon Airport was built. And did you know that it's rumoured that Amelia Earhart and Charles Lindbergh used to use these facilities? True story. Let's take a look. So this was built by World War I Army Flyer. Parker Van Zant, I think that's how you pronounce it, and he created the runway and built a hangar and started the first commercial air tours over the Grand Canyon. Scenic Airways also flew and they had the first paying passengers in 1928. Okay, and as you can see, this is where our frustration comes in. Look at that but we're going to abide by the rules. And I do believe that the reason why they've ended up having to do this is because it's dangerous. And I've also noticed a lot of the antivirus signs around. But this was the original hangar, 1927. It's pretty neat. It is, I love this, the old school building techniques, the 20s and stuff, it just, and even outside the sign, we'll get a good look at that sign because that's just incredible. Okay, out front, the signage. You see, it's very well weathered. All you can really make out now is the Grand Canyon Airlines. But above that, you do have like a wing symbol and some other writing that's just very hard to make out. There's some of the remains of those giant doors that would slide open. And here you can see the the track still remains here along the ground in the snow. Here you can see the water dripping off from the, the roof there and how it's completely just caved in in this section. And it's really weak. The floor is just separating. So I mean, it's when you step on this, this is going to come down, which is probably part of why they put some signage up. It looks like an old workbench area. Oh, there's a load of um, equipment where things used to hang from the ceiling in here. I don't know what would have hung from up there. Oh, you can hear a piece of ice just fell from somewhere, slid down the roof a bit. We are along the back side. You can still read Grand Canyon Airlines pretty well. The top and middle word, that's a union. You can make that out, but not much of anything else. And one shed on the left. Twenty-eight gauge. Globe. Looks in really good shape. Corrugated metal I'm speaking of. You can't open this, it's jammed. The oh, wood's okay. the wood's swollen. swollen yeah. mm -hmm. But it's pretty neat. Yeah, again, nice uh, stone stonework here, stone mortar. Look at those icicles. Okay, there's a little door on this side. Yeah, this open. one's open. It's strange though, because there's no actual doorway to get in, just these two little cabby things. Let me get my shadow out of the way. Let's see, it goes down a decent way, so I don't know if they kept water in here or something. And we've got this corral, a little building. We'll go up and see what's inside there. Inside the building, it's just a Nice cozy spot for the, the cows to come in out of the weather, it looks like. So they do have a little bit of a lock on this one. Nice railroad ties. So I don't know what this would have been. I don't know how old this building is. Just a feed store. Oh, I wonder whether or not, um, 
I wonder whether or not hunters camp out in here in bad weather. Hmm, possible. No, just feed. Yep. Okay. There's meant to be a cottage further up the trail, so let's take a look. Okay. So there used to be four cottages uh, built up here and a grand house. So I don't know what remains. Well, I see there's definitely a fireplace over here. It looks like is that, Some that's cold a bunker. Root, root cellar, I would say. That's a bunker would be more underground. And that porch isn't really going to support much of anything anymore. So, this will walk around along the outside, peering through the windows. So I wonder if this was an actual house. Yeah, I mean, look, you've got a fireplace in the back there. Mm. So this was one of the houses. Now, I don't know whether or not they, you know, rented it out like, um, like a hotel type thing, like a B&B. &B. Right. More of the front rooms. the okay. kitchen. Kind of hard to see at the, oh, okay, I'm peering through, let me get the camera in there a little bit. Oh, an intact light bulb, nice. Back now, area. this is a really strange layout. So the kitchen is through there, but in here, there's a toilet. So this wouldn't have been a bedroom, I wouldn't have thought. Maybe it was with an ensuite. Oh well, yeah, because you've got a closet. Uh, that's a door to shut it from the kitchen. So the kitchen's in the heart of the house. Let me come around to this one. Okay, yeah, there's the uh, the restroom. The wallpaper still looks in pretty decent shape. Now this is another bathroom. You've got a toilet and a bath to the left. So would this have been another bedroom then? Looks like exactly the same as the uh, the other one. So two bedroom, two bathroom. That's a bit posh for the 1930s, 40s. So I don't know when this building was built. I mean. The hangar and the runway was built in 1927. I would say this was built later than that, wouldn't you? It does look uh, newer because of the board size. You know, they're not the true two by six or two by four. Those are, these are the modern size where they cheat you out of the actual rest of the lumber. Okay, here's the uh, here's back door, this little covered porch area here. On the other side of the living room. No, this is another kitchen. Okay, so is it like a duplex? Kind of. How strange. All right, so on closer inspection, yeah, there are two separate front entrances. So a duplex. Right on. Shall we Walk over and take a look at the uh, root the, cellar. Yeah, the bunker. So would this have been a root cellar or a bunker? Oh, definitely a root cellar. That's not very big. And it's got like the old storm doors on here. Oh yeah, that's small inside. It's tiny, but it's solidly built. See, and it's got the antivirus danger sign up as well. Huh, interesting. It's cool though. Yeah, 
very well built. Here's that other fireplace we're looking at in the distance. And then this looks like it was their water supply. So I wonder if this was the, the grand house. I would have thought the grand house would have been bigger. I reckon this was one of the cottages. Yeah, because there is, don't really see much else out around here. There is like a, a couple power poles, but I don't see fragments of, there's no other chimneys around. So if the, this had to be the chimney for the grand house. Do you think so? And then if there was cottages, maybe they just had small wood burning stoves. They wouldn't have had maybe a, you know, and then that could be, like you said, a bit newer. That since these have fallen down or in disrepair, they kind of built that as a secondary place or what have you. So there's a fun little piece of Grand Canyon history that I didn't know of. Yeah, interesting. Shame we couldn't get into the buildings, but c'est la vie. And on that note, get out there, go and explore, put another pin in the Atlas, and we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye. So on the way out, we found this bizarre structure. We actually seen it on the way in. Decided we'd stop on our way out. It's got this tiny, wasn't a doorway. It was just a way for me to get in. And then you've got some track. Open roof, like a gigantic chimney. But there is no burn, no charring anything on the rocks in here. So we are unsure what this could be. Please let us know.